Hi, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be making some uh, fish fritters or salted cod fritters. Um, we call them bacalaitos in Puerto Rico. So uh, make sure to check our box, description box below, and look at the ingredients that we have for you today. Okay? Thank you for watching. So for the salted fish, uh, fritters you need to boil the fish at least three times um, this salted cod is very very salty so we boil it three times so every time you boil it you throw out the water and just replace the water with fresh water and then after that you have to go through it with your hands make sure there's no bones in it and then we're gonna mix it up with the flour and some ingredients so we're gonna go into that in a couple of minutes all right so stay tuned So we boil the fish at least three times because it's all salty. So this is number one. We're gonna boil it again. So for the fish fritters, the simple ingredients, it would be the salted cod, which I have boiling. We have about two cups of flour, all purpose flour. We have about half a cup of cilantro. Some seasoning, sazon goya with achote. This gives it a nice color. And if you want, you could put some adobo goya, at least a teaspoon or two. So making sure this is nice and clean, no bones, even though the bag says that it is boneless so just always make sure um, this is quite a bit I'm only going to use like half of it so we don't want the fish to overpower the fritter we just want to have a nice uh, salty uh, taste but not too over the board so I'm going to start mixing up the ingredients and we'll see how it comes out so I already put all the ingredients in the bowl I have mixed two cups of flour an envelope of sazon goya. Uh, I'm gonna start uh, mixing in the salted cod, and like I said, I don't want to use everything, so I'm just gonna mix a little bit. We're gonna put water until we get the nice consistency that we're looking for. And this is cold water. We want that yellowish color from the sazon. This is the consistency that you're looking for. It's nice and creamy. That yellowish color is, I added two uh, envelopes of Sazon Goya and it was just one so gonna have <laughs> a quite bright color to it so I'm just gonna leave it like that hopefully it turns out good I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to it um, just because it's my taste uh, people make this different kinds of way this is my way use the whole fillet that I had so now all is left is to fry it and try it out let's see we're gonna fry two or three make sure it tastes pretty good so we're gonna cover the base of the pan uh, I would say at least this much it can't be too shallow because you need it to be a little bit deep so the fritters can fry nice and evenly. Okay, I am going to use a spoon 
to pour this out. So we're gonna wait and see until the oil gets nice and hot. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. So I have the <clears throat> pan at half. So we don't want it too hot. We're gonna start pouring this, see how it comes out. You could always add more flour to the mixture <clears throat> so you could get a nice uh, and brighter color on your fritter. So I'm just gonna do three, see how it comes out. So here are my fritters all done. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I love cooking. There's many ways to do all these recipes I do, but I do them my way, how my mom showed me how to do them. So I hope you enjoy and see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.